Hey everyone, welcome to my fireside stationery chat now on Twitch. Hello, hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, just getting started. Hello. My name is April, and you might know me on Instagram as Penguins Creative, and also the host of the Stationery Cafe podcast. So this time is my first time streaming on Twitch, and I'm pretty excited. And I'm just basically bringing you the same experience that I've experimented with first on Facebook Live, um, then onto YouTube Live, and you know, wanting to be in this finally brave enough to be in the Twitch environment today. So really excited to be here, and we'll be going through a lot of fun stationary stuff and potentially at the very end a paint with me if you guys would bear with me for that long um agenda for the day ooh, ooh, ooh. hold on april where are you okay there we go so this is a cute little sticky note from love soup um love her stuff i actually got this from subscribing to sticky club and love soup is this creator in japan super amazing and i'm using it as like my to-do list today <laughs> yep um so what we're gonna be doing today is i'm gonna be opening some happy mail for my friend vicky i'll be unboxing the oblation letterpress express subscription subscription kit <laughs> um go take you guys through a flip through of my creative journal journal <laughs> from december 2020 and do a little happy mom unboxing for my friend, um, a golden retriever named Frankie. And then we'll get into the final paint with me there. Hey, Connor. Hello. Glad you can make it this time and that it's not too late. So I'm just going to leave this here today. Hey, Diane. Hi. Hey, Catnap Pen, Talking Walkies, Aztec Mule. Really happy to have you all here. <laughs> I have a friend who's joining me soon and she's going to help me moderate. So I'm really excited about that too because I'm like, oh no, I don't know what to do on Twitch and anything and everything. So we'll see how that goes, right? All right, let's 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 get started. How's everyone's um, Tuesday afternoon going? Oh wait, Thursday. Holy, <laughs> I'm like losing my mind here with all the things that's been going on. But the first thing I want to do is open this Happy Mail. I got my from my friend Vicky, who's up in Vancouver or Toronto. Actually, I forgot which one. I opened it, but I do want to like share with you guys in real time. Like, didn't get to look through the whole thing. So as you guys might know, with stationary enthusiasts, we just love sending things back and forth to each other. <laughs> and this one is particularly pretty, like even the letter, the envelope is made of this like washi paper material. Like I just kind of want to save it. It's got these little pink um, flower foil thing. So pretty, pretty awesome in my opinion. So let's kind of take a look at what's in there. Some origami hearts. I'll leave this here. I love green, so I think that's why. <laughs> a mini advent calendar, she says. Hey, Miranda. Hey, Toasty Treat. Welcome. I'm just doing my first thing, which is unboxing a quick happy mail from my friend. And she actually um, prepared this cute advent calendar for me. <laughs> that is so cute. So the first thing are these fun little tea bags. Um, she's up in Canada. So this must be something different. I'm really excited. I should have made tea. Um, hey, oh, hey, Joy. Welcome. Hey, Gaiden. Welcome, welcome to my first Twitch stream. Um, ooh, more origami. Cute. I'm just going to lay them there. My, my table is just going to be like crowded as you will see the pro progression of a, what a stationary holix table will look like at the end of the stream. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, you know, going around and trying to move things to make space. Okay, so the second thing is um, stickers. I, I totally don't have these in the right order. <gasps> cute! 
cute little stickers. Oh, I love this fruit one. I love apples, so this is really gonna be great. I happen to have a few apples a day I need to eat. Um, so they're definitely going to my stash. Origami is the third thing. Oh, there's more stickers actually. And then you got these cute paper bags for Christmas. That's adorable. Paper ephemera, more stickers. Oh, I like this from Mindwave. And this is kind of like a retro style theme. That's cute. Yay, love the Ari emote from Miranda. <laughs> so cozy. <laughs> And this is her letter to me. She says she, oh my gosh, she sent mini advent calendars to all of her snail mail friends. That is a lot of work and I appreciate you. This is amazing. It's too bad that I didn't receive it until like a few days ago and like holidays already over. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> oh, penguins. I wonder if she drew this, she, did she draw this herself? That would be amazing. I know I can't wait to do emotes myself someday. I definitely have to have some cookie emotes and my own illustrations of cookie, <laughs> the stationary puppy is what I'm going to call him. <laughs> and I, I, I miss Vancouver. I miss um, Canada. I really can't wait to go back. These are beautiful. She must have hand drawn these. Oh, this is a card for me and Elliot, like a well wishes. And then of course, ephemeras. We all love ephemeras and we just like keep passing around the circles. <laughs> like whenever I get these things, I think I put a few into happy mail to put other people and you know, I keep receiving them. <laughs> it's like a circulation of stationery, if you know what I mean. So that's, that's really, these are all super cute. Oh wow, love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna actually put aside this retro sticker because I might use it in a bit. Um, I do want to decorate a page in my Hobonichi today. So um, in that first part of our stream, for those who just arrived, we'll be doing two parts. One's like stationary oriented and the other will just be a, a paint with me. I, I have a very um, relevant topic I wanted to paint. so. That would be exciting. I got all my tools ready here too. So stay tuned for that. If you want to take like 30 minutes to go prep your own watercolor stuff to paint with me, that would also be fun. Um, all right. Next up, um, boxing my oblation letterpress express. Um, oblation is a stationery store based in Portland, Oregon. And they are not only a stationery store, but they also have their own press. So they make cards and greeting cards. And they have this subscription that I've subscribed to since August. And I can't wait to see what's in there. It's basically a subscription for like card lovers or like people who like to send snail mail. And so for the past few months, it has been five greeting cards. And they did say something around December about changing it up a little bit, but I don't know. It's st it still looks like there's five cards. So we'll see. We will see. <laughs> and there's always these tiny little um, stationary items that I have to be careful in case Cookie gets a hold of them. Um, ooh, oh, I remember now they said they're gonna actually include stamps for you to use um, so you can, you know, just mail these out without even have to worry about stamp. I really like this little fold here. That's cute. What's in here? Is this a tiny card? Oh my God, it is a tiny, tiny envelope card. How cute. This is adorable. I'm just gonna clip this here. This is this is like miniature stationery for the stationery geek. I might just I might just tape <laughs> tape this thing in my Hobonichi. <laughs> just so it, it's like out of the way and not on like tabletop where Cookie can get to. Can't nap. I totally feel you. Welcome to the life of a stationery firm mom. I'm like writing about him, taking photos of him, drawing him, painting painting him and all that. 
Hey Daph Maple, welcome! Um, welcome to my first stationary stream on Twitch. Thanks to Miranda for encouraging me and helping me. Um, still wasn't able to get my background music on, by the way. But I assume people can just listen to their own thing, or you know, if you have other things that you wanted to listen to, that would actually be nice. Um, I will probably um, upload this on YouTube later and put some background music of my own. So we'll see. So let's 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 see what card is in this set, right? Um, from Oblations Letterpress Express, we have a nice thank you card that's like pressed, so you can see these like grooves and indentation. It's always so elegant and nice. <laughs> thank you, number three. It's cotton paper. It's so pretty. They come with their own envelopes. <gasps> I love their hat with glove series it's the one that always have like witty sarcastic sometimes cynical quotes on it and this one's particularly cute out of all the unicorns that i know you are my favorite it's always hard deciding who to send these to you know like because they're just so cute okay and then we have uh, the the iconic oblation um they make their own paper too like they make their own pressed paper out of fiber and stuff i assume and cotton <laughs> so this is one of them and this is a birthday card decoed paper heart it's in really interesting on instagram live they share sometimes the process um i don't believe fountain pen will work well on this one but i feel like they do on these other ones but these are definitely more fibrous paper rather than, you know, those regular paper that are, have coatings. So I usually use gel pen on these <laughs> and not fountain pens. But I do use fountain pens to address or um, write things on the envelope still. <gasps> oh my gosh, this starry sky one is beautiful. I love you more than all the stars in the sky. Look at that. Oh my gosh. A galaxy this is so beautiful so this one's by hello lucky i love this set also too because i get to like learn about other print and press and like designs um that are local and you know i can now go on and look at their other cards and see their styles i like this one this one's also local to portland yeah that's really cool i i have a few friends of mine who i know will like these sort of starry sky galaxy style <laughs> so yeah okay so so the, okay makes sense now now it's just four cards um a tiny stationary accessories and the actual stamps that you need to send these cards out lemon drop this is a this is a tiny love note it says oh that's cute so usually i would decorate this on screen but i plan for other things today so we won't do that today i do i do have to choose um two winners usually i do this draw on my instagram um penguins creative you guys want to head on over later i will pick two lucky winners to receive um two of two out of these that i decorate and address and mail out to so that's cute all right the table's getting crowded i'll set these aside over here oh there's cookie there's cookie complaining mm, the next thing is let me take you on a tour through my London Gifties journal. For those who have watched me on YouTube, you know this book. This is a dot grid 160 GSM notebook from the brand London Gifties, which is in the UK. And she have these and this is so pretty. It's like, you know, it's kind of like those um, Lois Term, Arch and Olive that really caters to the bullet journaling community. And for me, I choose to use it as like a creative journal where I just do random spreads. I 
I log in my stationery cafe stuff for the podcast. I log Happy Mail. I paste swatches. I do a lot of fun things in there.、Uh, actually, some of them really nonsensical and just a way to use up my stationery. So let me take you on a tour through December. This is、um, I I always preface. Each month with a Tapineko card. This is、um, this cute card from Japan, illustrated by Toshinori Mori, and he just draws these cats that traverse around Japan throughout the seasons. And this is like one of the winter scenes. It's so pretty. Hey, Sarah, welcome. My mod, my reliable mod is here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, nice.、Um, yeah, car driver. These tabs are nothing too special, but they're just Daiso. But I've been meaning to use up more stuff, and Canada Pen totally. This is the reason why I do this is because I was like, I need to use stuff. I want to use them in a meaningful way. I don't want to just like slap it anywhere. So let's make something cool out of it. So to begin, I have a monthly calendar, and then I do some decorations next to it. And then I have a vertical calendar here that locks down Happy Mail I receive and when I make stationery purchases, and just a variety of things.、Um, so there's there's a lot of frenzy of、um, Happy Mail and how and during the holidays. So I didn't really lock them that well. And here's an example of me using the actual Happy Mail as、so、decorations for the page. Hi. <laughs> Helping with division. Poor Abby and James doing virtual schooling <laughs> and learning. And then I also swatch、um, new stationery purchases. So this was from one of our past live when I tried out these new stamps from Taiwan. These Taiwanese artists and washi tapes. I think this is a logging of my advent calendar from London Gifties for the holidays. Yay, fun spread! So you know, as an example, I do crazy spreads like these.、Um, this was from one of the paintings we did during our stationery cafe meetups last year, where we do paint with these. So I like to record them somewhere, but I can't put all of them in my Hobonichi Techo. Which usually chunks up by the end of the year, so this is a good place to put them. Now here's two more rolls from the London Gifties haul. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty, but I have to put them away because the holiday's over, and I don't want to like clog up my desk space. Hey, draw blank faith, and yep, the beatups. And then I did a little spread with the wreath washi tape, also from London Gifties. I was trying to letter some quotes I like in these new,、um, what is that called? Zig dot pens that are in the metallic series. And here are some random spreads. Two more from London Gifties, and I was trying to make use of my stamps that I bought from. Cute things from Japan, the Sakura Lala series, and these these cute Junbei songs, washi tapes, and stickers from Daiso. <laughs> oh my gosh, my Daiso haul, Sarah. Thank you. She's in the comments. She's the one who enabled us with the Daiso hauls. And another full page spread of London Gifty washi tapes. <laughs> yeah. Here's another. Tip in of、um, our meetups, we were painting wreath that day, but I did save the actual wreath painting elsewhere. But this is the one we did in marker brush pens afterwards. I was trying to use up my zebra click art pen, the one that makes that sound. I couldn't use it in any of my other planners because they because they bleed through. But this one's better. Oh my gosh! This is the swatch of the soda, soda masking tape, the clear ones that peel back up so easily. Look at that! 
it's it's so like it's like a toy. I'm just like constantly taping it and peeling back up. <laughs> and this is like actually the agenda from one of our past lives. Yay! And then here is our meetup from one of our last ones in 2020. On the 22nd, we painted Shirakawa Go, which is this village in Japan with watercolor. And then that night, I went to my friend's Animal Crossing Island and we saw the Aurora Boris. <sighs> it is so pretty. So I had a lot of fun. We were like just taking photos nonstop. So I do have a bunch of photos printed out. These are actually the surplus. Of the whole bunch of them went into my Hobonichi. Amida's Island. <laughs> and then here's just a little card from my friend um, Phyllis from Missling Bloom. And she sent me some photos they took um, during Elliot and my little tiny wedding in the park the early, earlier last year. So I was, it was really nice to see like that, these photos. Turning the page. Oh my gosh. So these are actually fun, happy mails from my friends who live in the Bay Area. Um, Amy, Caitlin, Susan, Darlene, Cheryl, Tori. Um, shout, shout out to the Stationery Fans Connect. We have a meetup every Sunday. And these are cute stickers, um, washi tape, stamp swatches that they, they own. And we kind of like stamp and share around. So it's really fun. <laughs> this one's from Black Milk Project. And I'm really curious about this artist. Tori sent me the actual stamp print of the Hobunichi lineup review event. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, every year the Hobunichi brand um, this beautiful journal here I have from Japan. They have a big review to showcase the, the covers that they're gonna sell for that year. And they do it not only online and physically at like a location, and then they have like special stamps to recognize those days. And she also went to Bunku Joshi and shared the, these stamps with me too. These are just fun little stickers and postcards from friends. And then this is me making like an entire spread through, throughout using the cards and ephemeras and the washi tapes and the little stickers that are included in those happy mails. It was so beautiful. I love this idea. I think Amy does this. Amy is Life of Lily Coey um, in, on Instagram, and she stamps in black on these letterpress cards. And I was like, this is so beautiful. So I might be doing that for myself a lot. And then I was trying to clean up my haul around January, <laughs> three days ago. <laughs> and I was like finding these remaining Happy Mail stuff from my sister back home in Taiwan when she helped um, helped me go to the washi tape event back in September and they call it like the washi stationary clinic for the like if you have washi tape syndrome this whole festival fair is called the clinic and each booth is like individual artists like Avocado Mori, Yamadoro, Hanks, ours and they are the booth that will see to your sickness this addiction with stationery. It was, it was a whole fun thing. It's, it's really hilarious. So they have like doctors, they have like these, these dudes and you know, they're going to cure your washi tape syndrome and a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Hey, Katniss, welcome. I just started streaming today. So <laughs> this is the first time. I think I'm at the end of it. Yeah. So that, that basically sums up my December creative pages. Um, and I've already started my, my January one. I chose this little postcard image of the black cat chasing and stalking this peasant. I thought it's kind of cute. <laughs> and I like to write like quotes in here. And then of course the January things. So yeah, and I have my Happy Mail page set up. So all I need to do is just continue to fill in these pages. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, Sarah, stealth orders are totally fine, <laughs> as we have established in, in our group chats. Um, we have a group of friends here in Seattle, and we love stationery. And sometimes we, we do reserve the patience to call each other and say, hey, do you want to join my order? Let's order this together, save on shipping or reach free shipping. But sometimes a few of us jump ship, abandon, and end up ordering ourselves. <laughs> and we call them stealth orders. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you get, though. Um, I, I've been meaning to secretly play some myself because I really wanted the black shachihata, black ink, ink pad. Um, I already have like nine colors, but I really want a black one. <laughs> oh, Miranda, I feel you. Free shipping's not that hard to reach. <laughs> I'm just drinking some water. Okay, what's next? Ooh, okay. Now that we're done with this, I was thinking of switching up the um, schedule a little bit and, you know, move on to the paint with me first and then end it with a final flip through of my December dailies from Travers, um, not Travers, that I use in my Travers notebook, uh, uh, an insert for the Travers notebook, as well as opening the last Happy Mail. But I want to get to the topic today that I wanted to paint. Um, this guys, all seen the horrible news um, that went down yesterday. Like, what is even going on? <sighs> it's crazy. And so I want to paint a subject that is sort of relevant, but not that, that relevant. So I'm going to set up my little thing here. <laughs> and I'm just spreading out a little bit. This is usually my setup. I have I bought this cute little palette from this Russian artist, and it's so funny. I knew this artist. Um, I knew her stuff from back in March or April, and I wrote in my planner that okay, I'm not gonna buy it until December as a gift. So I wrote it as a reminder in my December monthly pages. Um, I don't think I even have it around here. But then I went ahead and bought it in July. <laughs> so I, it's just funny, last month when I turned to that page and it was like, don't forget to buy these palettes from her and myself to my old self. You already did. <laughs> no, not trouble there. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god, Sarah, I should have told you, this is like one of those stealth order that I just went and placed for myself because I bought two, but we could have totally saved on shipping because these are, you know, came all the way from Russia. But yeah. Yay. <laughs> we got to we gotta share it, right? So what I'm going to paint today um, is actually the Capitol um, in D.C., I've been to Washington DC once back in 2016 um, during the death of winter, but I know that they're known for their springtime cherry blossom prettiness. And I love painting cherry blossoms always. So I wanna do that, but also, you know, to commemorate the event that, you know, I kind of wanna remember that beautiful building in that, in the ideal way it should be <laughs> rather than what what went down yesterday so yeah <laughs> our supplies are not visionary yeah it's a different sort of <laughs> never mind i'm just i'm joking it totally is stationary spending sorry <laughs> but sometimes we say things to make ourselves feel better so I do have this reference photo and I'm sort of intimidated actually because this is literally um, in a long while that I'm actually drawing a building. And it's like urban sketching. It's kind of nerve wracking like urban sketching. I'm going to try to be very um, loose with this. And usually when I do paint with me's at the 
stationery cafe meetups. I'm usually very methodical. Um, however, I thought I would kind of let you guys see what usually does go down <laughs> with my own with my own style, which is this really loose structure. There's not really anything methodical you can follow. I'm just trying to be very, you know, zero stress, free form painting. <laughs> I know I, I literally just placed cabinet pens. I just placed an order and it arrived from Stickerific. Um, this paper um, watercolor pad from Bao Hong, which is this Chinese watercolor um, brand for their co-press paper. And I have, I almost thought about breaking it out today, but I decided to stay with my preferred and familiar medium, which is this co-press Fabriano studio paper. Cause I feel like, you know what, this is my first stream on Twitch. Let's not mess. Let's not rock the boat, you know, let's not mess things up <laughs> where then they could be and, you know, just stick with what I'm comfortable with. So yeah, the cherry blossoms in DC, I wonder if anyone's ever seen it. Um, I mean, in person, I just know it's really pretty and I'm, I'm sort of lucky that I live in Washington, not Washington DC, and we also have really pretty cherry blossoms here, you know, but it's just... It's just different for each um, city, the this landscape and the the way the flowers are positioned and blooming among, you know, monuments like the Capitol. It's it gives it a different appeal, you know. Ah, uh, toasty tree. J Japanese cherry blossom is a totally different ball game, and I have not had the opportunity to really go to Tokyo during the season. But I did. I think when I was younger, when I was with family, I was able to go to some of them. Uh, those you know, outside the city areas, and must have been high school or something i got to see cherry blossoms the japanese stuff japanese way <laughs> if you will very nicely it was it was beautiful oh. <laughs> yeah can happen i i just really want to kind of you know not dismiss the significance of what went down yesterday but also remember it in the more beautiful way um i feel i see a few of my other urban sketcher friends being more courageous and actually sketching the mob just like you know climbing over the the railings and stuff and i just i just can't it's like uh, no that that i want to like erase that from my mind <laughs> not even citizens here but like still <laughs> all right so i got some water here Nope, that does not fit. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Let's see. I I've heard about how crowded the cherry blossom could be in DC, and I've seen it and all through photos. But it's it's always nice to just like see you once, right? <laughs> and oh my god, Connor, I missed the cherry blossom season in Animal Crossing. I, I should have bought it. I don't know why, like I was dilly dallying about, you know, not getting the switch. I should have just got it before my birthday, which is April first, and just experienced the cherry blossom season. So now I can't wait for this year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Toasty Treat, I am so jealous that you get to see a bunch of the, cher the cherry blossoms across Japan because they are all like amazing in their own way. Okay, spring water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> carpy, carpy, and 
Slippy flop. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Did you get all the cherry blossom recipe? I got zero because I started playing at on April like 23rd or 24th or something. So the cherry blossom season was all over. All right. So this is the part. Let me just say I'm still getting back to the... Um, Getting back on the train, if you will, on painting like this. So bear with me. This is the sort of the the urban sketching way that I had done before when I oh okay that's a little bit too much there that is too pink for my preference there we go <laughs> So yes, while I wait for this to dry, I'll answer your questions. Connor, I absolutely wish to complete for real the Cherry Blossom collection, uh, the recipe at least, because I did get some through my friends later on, but obviously you don't have the, the cherry blossom leaves to to build those things. So that that's kind of like a bummer, even though I was able to get, get some stuff. And... Kenneb asks, how often do I paint? I used to paint every Sunday when I was living, still living in Boston, because that's when I would go to these um, meetups um, for urban sketching. But I haven't done that. I haven't done it to that degree since moving to Seattle, because the scene is a little bit different here. Like the crowd isn't as young as I was used to in in Boston however because of the pandemic last year and doing the virtual meetup I actually got to paint more through the meetups in like a in these sort of like workshop manner but yeah Ooh, you should totally oh my god Carvey Carvey let me Definitely, the Boston group is such a fun group. Andre, Kate, Miriam, Eric, they're the best people. And it is so much fun. Like every weekend, we would just find a new spot. Of, co of course, now that it's COVID though, it's, it might be a little bit different, but we would just find different places and we would you know, hang out, sketch, and then get pastry afterwards. So it, it really has a great like camaraderie feel to it. And I just like that was how I got to really immerse myself with American culture and like getting to learn the environment when I first moved here to the US so I highly recommend the um, the Boston group <laughs> it's my favorite group that's where I'm from <laughs> I used to be the admin there too <laughs> so yeah ah uh, Exactly, and especially since um, urban sketching is super non-discriminating, like there's really no one there who are artists, especially the group I started with. Like we're all just professionals and doing this for fun. So it was really not intimidating to, to be in, to in that environment. But I don't know what the protocol now is considering COVID. So once it opens up, I would definitely highly encourage everyone who wants to go, to go. Huh. Yep. <laughs> All right. This is getting a little bit messy. But that's usually how paintings go. 
like if you see artists videos on youtube they're just like yeah 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 <laughs> like in some little strokes you're like what is going on <laughs> and apparently that's happening here too <laughs> okay let's see um the building itself it has like a purpley vibe to it oh i meant to test out color on here yeah that's this is nice Now I'm just um, painting the negative space of where I anticipate the shadows to be. I do have like pencil draft lines, but when I do these super urban sketchy, I actually technically you can't call this urban sketchy because sketching because it's not done on location. However, you know when I do these kind of more free form paintings. I tend to be less structured. roof okay I'm losing saturation here but it's okay I can mix them back so another thing I need to work on when it comes to my painting is the the patience to wait for things to dry which I have very little patience for as well as um, learning to switch brushes <laughs> when I should already be moving on to smaller brushes, but I am not doing that today. As evident with my current progress, but it's okay. This is just for fun, because I have to constantly remind myself. You, you bought a heat gun. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very impressive. I wouldn't know what to do with a heat gun, but I did buy those like Q-Cap Paul style um, fans from Daiso. <laughs> um, but I think it's different here. So it's funny, I have this like giant dollop of paint that I'm gonna try to soak up here with a dry brush. And even though after I bought the fan, I still don't use it, which is silly. But sometimes the beauty lies in um, the blurriness and uh, <laughs> the way the watercolor flows. I wouldn't call mine like the right way to paint, but <laughs> if it's helpful, thank you. Feel free to follow and watch along. I still consider myself a very amateurish watercolor artist, since I don't have any like formal, I guess, lessons on how to do things certain ways. I just it's really through a lot of um youtube video watching and going to urban sketching sessions which i had been to a lot in like 2017 2016 and watching professionals do it so that's inspiring oh my god is, is there, there a visitor is, is, is there a visitor <laughs> is there a visitor here oh 
there's a visitor. <laughs> Cookie. Hi. Okay, he lost interest. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Cookie. Cookie. Cookie, come. <gasps> Look. Cookie. <laughs> Okay, okay, he lost interest again. <laughs> lost interest the second time. <laughs> Is he going up with you? Okay. I guess he can stay if he wants. Yeah, he went upstairs. Or maybe not. <laughs> The thing is, Cookie is being is so codependent that he will not have it if none of us is like within his sight, right? Cookie, Cookie, no, leave it. All right, he was trying to bite the cable. Okay, good. Kirby, <laughs> Kirby, <laughs> you're not Cookie, but you're as cute as Cookie. <laughs> I don't have good emotes right now too for Cookie, but Death Maple, I love that one you have. <laughs> yeah, hey Geeky, how are you? Yeah, painting is so fun. People should just do it all the time. And I don't know, I feel like I want to follow people on Twitch that does a lot of painting. If you guys have any recommendation for people who paint live, because that would be fun to watch um because the thing with youtube people do there is like all these videos about painting but they're all recorded and you can't really like see the progress um you know they're usually the perfect painting you know what i mean okay so now i'm i'm really going deep with some branches Cookie, are you just baking yourself over there? <laughs> By the fire, butt to the fire. You're gonna get toasted. Cookie, come. Cookie. Cookie, come. Nope, nope, he refuses to react to me. Let's see. Watercoloring channel isn't live. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is Cash your puppy? <laughs> if Cookie ever had the taste of peanut butter, I think he will go berserk, but thankfully he will never because Elliot is deadly like allergic to peanut butter, so that's not going to be a thing that is going to be occurring in our household. Okay, so to be honest with you guys, this painting isn't going as well as I want. It doesn't look the way I wanted it to look. That's okay. <laughs> I feel like it's still fun. It's still, it's still cool. Um, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of loose painting type thing. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Kirby, poor Kirby, so strong to to recover from her trial. Um, but I'm glad she's okay, and I'm sure you'll do anything for her to have her be healthy. And Cookie really wants attention right now too, but we will not give it to her. Oh, you want to go rest in your cage? Good. Yeah, take a take a take a nap there. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Miranda. And you missed Cookie. Well, maybe you didn't miss Cookie. He he made a little appearance just now. He's currently down here. 
Oh, bye, Joy. I hope you enjoyed it. You can always watch the replay later, and I can't wait to record an episode with you. Yay! We're gonna have Oh Hi Joy on the Stationery Cafe podcast. And let's see. All right, getting a few more emphasis there. Hey, come here. Up. No, 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 no. He's trying to mess with the speaker. Cookie, go. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so glad Kirby is doing better. So I think, let me... Okay, here's the, here's the part. So as a as a burgeoning <laughs> sketcher, usually I'd be like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> but I know, I know that I have like at least five more minutes of detail work I could add into this that I usually don't do. So I'm going to attempt to stick to my painting for another five minutes and see what else I can add to it to really just seal the deal. Um, so bear with me a little bit while I pick and poke at my painting here. And usually that five minutes really make the difference. Um, but I never stick around to do that. Whilst you see fellow urban sketchers really just nailing the painting. For example, come on April, this is like huge. We can have another one here. There's always also the risk of, you know, people saying, okay, when you are feeling like you're adding too much, it's time to stop. But there's a period before that where you need it to add things. You don't know what I mean? So, this is me doing just that. And also maybe I need to tilt it. Okay, 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 I should stop. I should stop. <laughs> yeah, I can also catch up on the chat. Um, <laughs> Cookie's bed. Cookie has a crate right over here in the living room. I'm actually in my living room right now, um, right by the window, the only bright spot in the house. Um, so he has a big crate here. He has a medium-sized crate up in our bedroom next to our bed. So he has two places to have his alone time. <laughs> yep. No. Oh, Parvo Bill sounds horrible. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I I hate it when animals go sick because they can't tell you how they're feeling <laughs> like come on spit it out what is bothering you like cookie the other day like threw up his his a little bit of his breakfast but he is like energetic as always not really looking any different we went to the vet around christmas once before because he was doing that and it was nothing special he literally ate too fast, over ate, jumped around and play after eating, which is causing him to like, you know, throw up parts of his breakfast and meals. 
I was I want I want to go to the vet anyway to just rule out like potential parvo or maybe um, parasites or something. But everything's okay. So we're like cookie, just a little, a little cook, a little crook. All right. I think I'm done. I'm, I think I'm done here. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? They eat so fast, then they run around, and then they puke, and then you're like, come on, and then they start begging for more food. So, this is um, the painting. I'm gonna wait for it to dry a bit before removing the washi tape. But I think I'm gonna clean up around here so I have space for what I wanna do next. Hmm. I know, I think the the, <laughs> the parvel thing with the chronic vomiting and diarrhea is really something to be mindful of because it could be something serious. So that's what the vet over the phone called, told us too around Christmas when we called in because like no place was open. And then they said, is Cookie eating? Is he drinking? Is he playing? And we're like, yep, he's doing all that. <laughs> like nothing is wrong other than him throwing up a little bit of his food. So we really blame, blame it on, you know, overhyping. And yeah, oh man, <laughs> Luna <laughs> from Cat Napkin. Cats do that. Um, I used to live with a roommate who has a cat. His name is Ozzy. I think I've talked about him a lot on my Instagram. I love Ozzy, but he is also this dude that will not stop like bothering you while you're drawing journaling anything and then he throws up by your feet and then comes at night to like crush your chest while you're sleeping so yeah oh oh cookie hi cookie 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 come here oh what's up dude no no okay <laughs> yep by the way, my shirt is um, uh, from Uniqlo Andy Warhol Statue of Liberty in Brooklyn Bridge because I feel it. <laughs> I know, right? Ozzy, I now actually in the house have like two giant um, artworks of Ozzy because I love him so much. But he and his owner are currently uh, living in Colorado. I think they're moving back eventually, but I don't know. But I inherited some paintings from her. So I wanted to show you guys while I wait for this to dry. Um, this other happy mail that I got from my friend, Frankie. Frankie is a proud Warrior Canine Connection service dog. So my obsession with American internet and like, um, I guess the internet world actually dates back to 2013 when I was in Thailand. I was working at this manufacturing company doing purchasing, boringest, boringest job in the world, the most boring job in the world. Um, so I, I scroll on the internet a lot and I came across this puppy cam, 24 hours nonstop live cam of puppies and how they raised them and like them just like snuck off to their moms and it was done it was through this organization here in the u.s actually in dc wow it all is coming together um called warrior canine connections and what they do is they raise and train labradors and golden retrievers a service dogs for um retired or P uh, veterans suffering from ptsd best um mission ever and then you get to see the growth of all these puppies and frankie specifically is one of the few that got to come to the west coast facility to train and i know her his owner karen and so i drew some paintings of them so i've been painting their graduation pet portraits for the past six years so every august they would have like a, a group like 20 or so dogs graduating the program and I would paint puppy portraits of each of them. And then they they just like print it and send it to the family that fostered them. So basically, you know, different families would foster and train them till they're ready to go to the veterans. So you can definitely go check out, you know, the live camp is still up. It's on explorer.org. There's also a lot of cool animal live camps on there, by the way. Like you can watch these bald eagles, but that's beside the point. 
Frankie's one of them, and Karen, who's like really good, she works in the, around the Silicon Valley, and she is so savvy, and so she <laughs> makes these cool Frankie stickers. Um, Frank, it's actually Frank. They actually name each puppy after you know some, um, um, I guess veterans who died um, in the war and stuff. So it's cute, and these are just cute pictures of Frankie. Uh, I follow. Cookie, Cookie! Oh my God, he opened a chair next to me. Cookie, no, no, he's gonna fall on you, and you're gonna scream. <laughs> Cookie, okay, he's not gonna do anything. So yeah, <laughs> all these cute things. And actually, I learned so much of my dog training, like tips and tricks, just from following the facility because um, they have a Facebook group and I've been in there for like five years. And then they, they always show lives of like how they train the puppies from like week two, week three, and you know, how they get them used to like socialize the different smells, sounds, texture, because essentially service dogs have to be invincible like they have to not be afraid of anything and you know commands being really good at following orders all that stuff so i love frankie <laughs> last year uh, or maybe it was a year before i got to go down to san francisco and meet up with greggy which is the puppy before him um that karen helped foster so it's really cute <laughs> it's really cute Cookie dis I need a cookie disaster and a cookie no emo. Thank you. <laughs> uh, they are when you think you're not watching. And now he's there basking his butt. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's like right there by the fire. Looking as angelic as ever. Cookie, you know we're talking about you, right? He knows. He knows we're talking about him. Cookie is a chew monster, but he's gotten better. But I think he's also still gonna get worse because he's at he's at the four point five month stage now, um, which is what they call the teething, I think, stage. So he's gonna start chewing and biting everything. I'm actually still waiting for this to dry, but I am gonna put the Frankie stickers into my hobonichi spread this is my hobonichi and just to show like how much i was a cat person before this is ozzy i i have been transferring this sticker um this photo that i printed out for over four years now <laughs> three years four years <laughs> so, so ozzy lives here in the tiny pocket in the hobonichi cover for the past few years and we have Chewy, oh sorry, Leah from Luke Leah Chewy from Stickerific. So two sent me her <laughs> Polaroid. Look at that wide eyed look. Uh, <laughs> and then I also got these two cute cards from um, Hema, Gemma Corel. That's basically my mantra for this year. Have more bubble tea and look after yourself. So these will basically guard me for the entire year. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Yes, catnap pens! T get the collar! It is the most adorable thing. And did you get their... I think they even made like a Sailor Moon one too. I don't know if you can buy that though, but you can get all these colors that they designed and make for their store cats because apparently they tolerate colors. <laughs> and it's the cutest. They have like the little bows. <laughs> So funny story. So two sent one of the blue bowls um for my par um, parent law like father in law's cat, Smokey. But apparently they underestimated the how fat American cats can be. And so Smokey was just like uh, choking with like that little bowl against his massive like black body. <laughs> it is so funny. <laughs> remember so so be mindful of the width I feel, I feel like if your cat is like you know slim and healthy yes it will work but if your cat is a big spoiled um, black hairy cat like smoky then i wouldn't recommend like i would recommend going size up or whatever um 
So I want to decorate my page and then, okay, I'm going to use this one. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I feel like Cookie is kind of past that super mouthy stage where he explores everything his, in, with his mouth. He is still, he still bites and chews when he's excited, but like right now he's like feeling the sleepiness. I know, I know, you're super sleepy. So he's not particularly trying to gnaw off my chair or hand or anything. By the way, this washi tape is a collaboration between the stationery store My Lovely Room and Mr. Eggplants. Limited edition. It was like only for that event. So which one should I do? Oh, this is a magnet. Oh wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Cookie, did you burn yourself in the fire? What's wrong? Now he's good. All right. Now, just to get these this off the sticker. Yay. Happiness. I don't know if you guys feel it, but sometimes when you put down the sticker that just feels right and you're like, oh, 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 Cookie needs to go to the bathroom, so excuse me. Alright, Cookie, let's go. Thank you for letting me know. He's the worst. He went out, he did not pee. Yes, you're not getting streets. <laughs> I need that. I need that screen saver. Oh my god. Holy. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Cookie. So he actually did not pee. I, I'm so mad. I'm, he's just out there eating leaves and stuff. <sighs> All right. Cookie. <laughs> Wait, what do you need? Oh. I do have that key. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. I'm back. So Cookie was circling in the crate like he's about to poop. But he's also looking up this, at the treats. So I don't know what he wants. So I just lugged that 18 pound pupper up three flights of stairs and deposited him with Elliot. And this is my first workout of 2021. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for that. <laughs> Leaves are like doggy potato chips. That is correct. That was exactly what he was chewing outside. Oh my god. I was like grabbing it out of his mouth, but then he looked at me and like chewed deliberately the second half that was in his mouth. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a problem now. I know we're almost done here anyway, but still, sorry about that. I I knew this would happen, but I let it happen anyway. And so, of course, I always save the entire the entire um, card if I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm secretly ripped. Yeah, I'm like strong thighs from running up and down the stairs every day. What is that thing they say? Bench press. I, I bench press 18 pounds every single day. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so there's that. Oh, by the way, did you guys see how I like um, covered up the ugliness that is yesterday with cute stickers and washi tapes? because I have to <laughs> yeah and then this was like the day before I was I was sketching cookie and donuts and cheesecake to begin the year because why not and this is my uh, turning the page to a new year page where I have the word of the year from Hobonichi if you guys want to go there and draw their omi kuji um, to get your word of the year Mine says festival, 
and then kind of like a little spread there. <sighs> oh no, waiting at the top of the garden for you to chase him. Don't let that happen. Oh no, that I feel like he is slowly doing that. Hey, West. <laughs> Welcome, thank you for joining the stream, <laughs> even though it's towards the end. So, there's my Hobonichi. I'm still panting a little bit. So my painting's dry, and I can start ripping it, the washi tape off. And show you guys that. There you go. Referring my cream cash <laughs> must be a little chaotic back there. <laughs> yep, here's the enjoyable part of watching a finished painting come to life the part where you're like, ah. So I have this like giant roll of washi tape that I've been using as masking tape. They are called masking tape in Japan, so. Using it instead of those art masking tape that actually rips the paper. There we go. There's the the painting of the capital in the better light. And yeah, let me catch up. <laughs> I feel like I missed a lot when Cookie had that little escapade. Oh, he actually went down the stairs instead of coming straight back into the room, into the house. So I had to like take the treat back out there. Oh man. Oh, oh my god, I just saw the part about Geeky saying McCree prefers his croc. I have this super expensive like shoe for my plantar fasciitis. Um, that's kind of like silicone-y and it's good for like my soles. And Cookie chews on it like it's it's his five dollar toy, but these are fifty nine dollar slippers, and I have to like wrestle it out of him for the first like four weeks every single time I'm not looking. It is horrible. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right. Okay, final thing before I end, I wanted to share with you guys a flip through of my Traverse notebook and um, the December daily that I have done last year over here. Wow, this is a, a fruitful life here. We got cookie, we got painting, we got stationery, and we got cookie disaster. <laughs> I, need, I need a screensaver for that. But if you guys had watched one of my previous live, I got this from... Miss Fish. Uh, it's really hard to spell it out. I might type it out somewhere, but it's basically this insert with like miscellaneous paper. So I really utilize that to do my December daily pages in like creative ways. It's like it does have to work for you <laughs> with the creative paper. But I just, I just do it. And so it's gonna be a quick flip through with some random observations. And maybe a sip of water from the workout. Hmm. And I think instead of writing about the day, I was just doing a lot of quote copying, um, lettering. I was following along many of the letter challenges on Instagram that Meow Paw Journal shares if you're interested in looking. So. And I was also using um, the hours um, daily dates printouts as well. <sighs> and this is, I think, a sentence in, in Spanish. I think peace to you and me is what it means. Yeah. Blue Chromina. Um, how do you create a TM filler with different types of paper? So all you need to have is a cool vertical stapler. Like it's a very interesting tool. Maybe I'll show it off next time. But I think she stapled a bunch of papers together with different craft. And so this is one spread I did using the markers um, to letter like a tree. 
And then there's a, she includes a lot of these little ephemeras that I just paste together. Like for example, here there's a pocket here. Favorite holiday desserts: hot chocolate with marshmallows, warm apple pie, peppermint mocha, and decorated clown. <laughs> Deck the halls. I was using the stamps from Everyday Explorers. That was really fun. Oh, joy to the world. Joy to you and me. Alegria. Okay, got it. And then here's another one. Oh, this paper is really good. It's like washi paper. And then she also includes these like film paper. So it's really fun. You see the effects. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. Thank you of you. Mm, nice. Um, I love Toy River paper and I have some lying around as well. And I think this is like a little paper bag, but I use it as a page anyway. And I love black paper. Oh my god, next time I should do a live of um, my black tea and insert. And so basically I was journaling in my, with my jelly roll pen and I was reminiscing um, my favorite drink peppermint mocha from starbucks from back when i was in high school i think <sighs> and then this is another random um collage page so because this this book has many material paper i end up going back there ripping out some paper and using it here in the front <laughs> it's just kind of using this book itself as material so that was really fun um i'm an adult not like a real adult oh, it does not have to be perfect this is really echoing my word of the year this year imperfect <laughs> imperfection nice um and i was using some of those stickers from the happy planner sticker book i have so many of them i need to use more now the holiday is over, I have to like kind of bank them for the next season. Yeah, more beautiful paper. Ooh, my favorite stationery in 2020. I wrote clear stamps, mind wave stickers, and Kokuyo pasta, which I did not show here. I should probably bring it down and... I'm actually setting up a stationary station right here. I have a table here. Elliot's furious that I'm taking over the house with my stationary stations, but he can't stop me. Um, so I'm trying to, I bought a new organizer from my coast for washi tape that I can leave down here just for that purpose. Um, here, keep your hands doing busy. Keep your hands busy doing what you love and your heart will be happy. This is a quote from the stationary cafe, my favorite episode with Esther Molina and you know her her journey of going into the stationary world in japan uh, yes. um and then these are beautiful washi tapes from maruko art i love her stuff her christmas stuff is amazing mm. and then this page i think i was just oh i i did write some words on it Random words, star drawings. Did another tree writing session here. Um, dreaming of a white Christmas. Oh, I actually copy the lyrics to that song. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Um, just like the ones I used to know. That's that one. I I wouldn't dare attempt to sing on here. So, <laughs> and then I draw. I drew some snowflakes. Turns out they're really hard to draw. <laughs> and. Here is December 22nd. Oh, and then I also follow Atticus um, on Instagram. I like some of his poems. And then a little note to USPS. Attempting to draw the, the mailbox here. I think this is December 24th. And finally, this is December 25th. And that's it and the remaining pages are just little ephemeras left but i felt like i really made good use of this insert and you know not having to start from scratch is always easy and nice this is really good so 
that pretty much concludes um, what I wanted to share today on my stream. Thank you guys for joining in. This is my first Twitch stream officially. So I am really excited and glad it went well considering all the cookie episodes. I will have to edit that out for YouTube. <laughs> but you know, if you want to see that, feel free to come back and watch on the replay. And I hope to keep doing this. So see you guys next Tuesday. Uh, oh, next Thursday, same time, 2 p.m. <laughs> and I will do stationery and paint with me so over here. Again, thank you guys so much. Um, have a nice rest of your day. <laughs> Hopefully the weekend is so close. It's so close. It's only a day away from the first official work week of the year. I am self, uh, myself are in like a work week mentality this week. Um, so I feel you and hopefully the world is going to be a better place when we wake up each day after yesterday. <laughs> I mean, how bad can it go, right? Like how, how much worse can it go from there? Not too much. Um, thanks again for joining and have a great rest of your day. Bye.